What I'm going to do is actually right click on a project group, say add new project and this time is going to be just a straightforward uh, VCL uh, forms application is going to be my client. I'm going to uh, save it in the same location uh, as my server. So that's going to my uh, form client unit is the name of my client. I'm going to save it and the project is going to be secure DS client. Okay, that's fine. Let's also give the name to my uh, project group uh, secure secure data snap. That's a nice and data snap XE because that's actually the version of data snap uh, that we are using. Okay, so before I can actually work with a client, I need to make sure that my uh, server uh, is running. I'm going to, it's always a good idea to build old projects so they can be uh, successfully compiled and I can just run my server. So notice there is a, a firewall uh, because it's the first time I'm running this. I'm going to allow access uh, to this server. Okay, I'm going to minimize the server because it has to be uh, running throughout the development of the client. Okay, let's build a client. So I'm going to start with a, a little GUI. Uh, I'm going to add two buttons and two edits. So one for my echo method. So there will be a, a button one and I'm going to also have a button two. So the button one is going to have a caption echo and the name of this button is going to be button echo and the button 2 is going to be called button reverse and maybe with a with a e at the end and the also caption has to be reverse okay now i'm going to add just two edits so t edit here uh, one edit will be for my uh, echo and one edit for my reverse. So edit one doesn't matter what is inside it but I'm going to uh, change the name so I can really refer to it in code uh, in a proper way. So I have these two guys uh, one is uh, edit echo and uh, edit reverse. So before I can actually go ahead with this application I need to add a way to connect to my secure uh, data snap server. The easiest way to achieve this is through the uh, special wizard. Uh, there is in a data snap server category uh, there, is, there is a data snap uh, client module wizard that I'm going to use. It will ask me where is my server. It's local server so that's okay. Uh, this is also a standalone data snap server. The protocol is TCP uh, IP. That's fine. And this is an interesting screen. So if I click on test connection I'm getting a remote error. That's actually something that I'm expecting because I have not provided any username and my first uh, security policy is that uh, users with empty names are not authenticated. So if I provide a different name for example maybe guest and what arbitrary uh, password that we don't check anyway and click on test connection I should be able to connect to my server. That's fine. So I'm going to click on finish. Uh, the wizard has added uh, two new files uh, to my uh, client project. Uh, one is client classes unit and one is a client module unit. Okay, so if I want to continue with building my client uh, I need to add uh, to my client forms actually use uh, both new uh, units. I'm going to add them to the implementation section of my unit and now I can uh, actually start uh, coding. So the source code I'm going to show the editor. So the source code is going to be very straightforward. I'm going to uh, display in the, ec in, in the edit whatever I have got back uh, from the server method. Uh, so I need to go and the client module uh, one and then uh, my server methods to client and the method is called echo string. I'm going to pass in this echo string uh, the contents of the uh, edit box. Okay, that's fine and I'm going to do, maybe I'll just make sure that it's more uh, space, 
I'm going to do the same for the reverse string, so I'm going just to copy the body of this first method and replace with just edit a reverse. So this is going to be here and also I'm going to call it reverse string. So in this way uh, my client is now uh, implemented. Let's run it and see uh, how it's going to work. So if I click on echo I see that I can successfully call it. If I call reverse I'm getting an error. This is something that I'm expecting as well. I have not provided an admin pass, uh, admin username, just other name, which is actually in this case just guest. So that's not something that can be used to actually uh, call my uh, secure reverse string method. Okay, let's stop this application and have a look where the wizard has stored these values that we have entered during the uh, adding a data snap client to our client project. In the, inside the client module unit, and I'm going to again uh, go to the default layout, there is a SQL connection uh, component uh, that was added by the wizard. If we open its params property, we can very quickly verify that here are the, all the information that we have added uh, via the wizard. So the selected uh, communication port, which is a TCPI port, and the user and password that we have entered. Now if I replace this with admin and click on OK, actually it's always a good idea to see if it's connected or not, and I can actually run it again and see if I can call echo and if I can call a reverse string. So now uh, I can see that using the uh, username admin uh, I can successfully call my secure reverse string. So now it's really uh, the beginning. Now the next step would be to uh, programmatically uh, access uh, this uh, value of DS authentication user uh, parameter and set a proper user and password. But that's actually uh, something uh, for more uh, elaborated version of this demo and this demo at this point stops and now the next step of the user will be to provide a programmatic, programmatical way uh, of setting the DS authentication user and DS authentication password uh, properties. Thank you very much for watching this Delphi Labs uh, episode on DataSnap XE authentication and authorization. Thank you.